I document some of what I'm doing, trying to restore a happy day oven stove. One of the first things I did was separate the plate that had the name on it from the frame, which is all cast iron. The plate, I think, is supposed to be porcelain enamel of some sort. So, plate, I had to drill out the bolt, nuts and bolts or holding the plate into the frame itself. Now you can see I've cleared out an awful lot of the of the frame so far. This is what the cast iron looks like. Well here you can see this is what the cast iron looks like here. It's also it's bubbling up. There's all sorts of rust involved with it. This is what I get after I clean it off. Not completely yet. It still needs some more and I have to admit, I haven't done anything on the back yet, which not only has has rust in it, it also has pieces of uh, plant roots and whatever because this had been buried underneath. Okay, so let me just start on this section right here and work a little bit on the corner. Um, so the first thing I'm using is actually just a, a cold steel chisel. Um, it works rather well because it has a fairly large flat surface that um, lets me cover a fair bit more area than otherwise. Also, um, the steel is of course much harder than uh, the cast iron and any of the rust sitting in it. So I just, just kind of need to start scraping off the rust. Um, if you do it lightly, kind of see what it what it's doing there. It's getting it off. There's still some of the, the, the harder rust that's staying in. here there's a little bit of a dip there so that the flat surface of the chisel doesn't work right. I'm going to have to come back and work kind of hard to get back done. I mean I work on this the back side here. Anything that's left after I use the wire brush is probably a big chunk of rust of some sort where you got more, more deterioration, or it's in some sort of lumpy spot. feel rough spots so there. A little more careful with the chisel, particularly in the corner here. And just kind of just spot check, spot scrape any spot that still looks rough. Now of course going around the corner here, there's all sorts of difficulties. So that whole thing Scraping. I, I can't use the broad motion. I just have to scrape very carefully and try to get off everything. Also, this is of course when we need to be extra careful not to chisel one's fingers. Of course, since this is 
cast iron, it wasn't all that smooth to begin with, so there's little imperfections in the way it was cast in the first place. wire brush clean off and see what I've got. Okay, there's an edge up under here where I'm going to use a, a finer brush to get at it. Oh, and I'm, I'm already seeing some still rough spots that I need to get. It's really interesting when you do this. It looks nice and shiny, but when you go after it with a, a chisel at a spot that looks rough, and it suddenly turns rusty again because there's some shiny iron on the outside but rust has gotten underneath and bubbled it a little bit so you need to get back in there and so we find any sort of rust spot is an indication that there's rust underneath then back to the brush here last like a real nice spot now that has a little bit of a rough area getting rid of all the rust and doing a decent job to get down to just nothing but iron and this is one. Um, it's non-trivial. doing this, there's various chemical solvents and stuff that I'll end up using it also to help clear away the rust. Okay, you can see that corner is going to take a while just because it's it's a oddly shaped. There's a bunch of, of, of crud there. And so I'm just going to have to take that slowly and easily. It's a lot of repetition here. So that's what that piece looks like after a bit more scraping. See right there.
big chunks. Okay, that, that really gives more of the shape. Still very rusty though. It's taken a while. I've managed to get this much in that length of time, so you can imagine how long that took. And I'm starting to go around the edge here, and that's going to take almost as long, additionally, as it took to do this in the first place. 